What is up, Base Lake? All right, guys. Um, I know I have not made a video in a, a long time, um, and the reason for that was, or is, that I've been off. I've been off for about 40 days. I haven't been flying. Um, so yeah, still getting paid. Um, luckily, my company has got the airline grant money from the government, so as of right now, nobody is furloughed, and we are all still uh, getting paid. Um, once the grant money runs out, that is the million dollar question. Um, are there going to be furloughs? Um, and my answer to that is yes, there's definitely gonna be furloughs. Um, and there is a rumor going around that they're out of the top main three major airlines, so United, Delta, and American. One of those airlines are gonna go out of business or file bankruptcy, or they might all file bankruptcy. But um, there's rumors saying that for sure, one of them is going to be gone. That's a rumor. Um, and I don't know if that's true or not. Um, just from what I've been hearing, talking to some of my friends, talking to other pilots, that's the uh, rumor. And uh, a little, I guess the one that most people are talking about that are most likely going to go uh, fall for bankruptcy is going to be American. Now, is that true? I have no idea. That's just um, what I've been hearing. All right. So what does that mean for us? Um, like for the regionals and stuff. Are there going to be furloughs coming um, once the government money runs out? Um, most likely. Um, I definitely would imagine. Um, but I don't know. At my, person, at, uh, at my personal company, as of right now, there's been no furloughs. We've all um, gotten the, uh, the grant money. But once all that, the government, or the government money runs out um, and there is no work or the work is really slow, you know, I cannot imagine them keeping everybody, especially if there's not enough work for them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully nobody gets furloughed though, but at the same time too, it's like, I can't imagine them having such a high cost for employees and there's no money coming in. They're definitely gonna have to start cutting the fat. So it is life. Um, it totally would suck to get furloughed. You know, I'm hoping that I don't get furloughed, but you know, at the, at the end of the day, like, you know, everybody could get furloughed. The whole damn company could go under. So I don't really, <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out, you know, everybody got their, uh, their fingers crossed and hoping that their name's not on that list. And, you know, and I don't know what's really going to happen though, but it's definitely a crazy time with everything that's going on right now. And, uh, yeah. I'm sure you guys know everything, what's going on now. So, yeah. Um, so, back to like why I haven't been making videos is because of that. Like, literally, I haven't been working. I've been sitting at home doing some projects around the house. Nothing like really related to aviation. And I don't think you guys really want to see me like do daily vlogs of feeding the fish or hanging out with the cat. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but, Sorry, I got like the hiccups for some reason. But yeah, so uh, we'll get into uh, reading some comments and uh, answering some of these uh, questions you guys got or uh, just acknowledging that I got your guys' comments and going from there. All right, let's get into it. All right, so our, our first comment uh, says, uh, your videos are great, thanks for the detailed information. How do you think the aviation industry will be past COVID-19? I'm looking at, um, looking to be a pilot. Still in high school. Uh, what do you think about going through the National Guard? And uh, thanks for your help. All right. What's the aviation industry going to be like past COVID? Um, I believe that it's all going to come back to normal um, because, you know, everybody has to travel. Like traveling is not going away. Like airplanes are not going away. Um, but the demand for the passengers is going to take some time to get back to what it was before this whole crisis. So you got you still got four years of high school and then you, then you got your training on top of that. So you're looking at maybe five to six years um, until you are 
eligible or longer until you're eligible to go to the airlines. Um, I think by then it's definitely going to be back to normal and there's going to be tons of, uh, tons of jobs. Um, so I think eventually the aviation industry is going to go back to normal and this is just going to be like a, um, a, a spot in history that was just crazy, but I think it's all going to go, it's going to go normal eventually. Now the whole, the key question though is like how long? And I don't think nobody really knows that answer. And I think like the best answer there is, is like, it's going to take, you know, a couple years, you know, and it could like, I don't think it's going to happen overnight though, but I would say within a year to two years, you're going to start seeing it come back faster and faster as time goes on. So I think you're in a great spot. I would definitely, you know, get good grades in high school. And once you get out, um, get your flight training done as, as soon as possible. Now for the National Guard, um, I, can't, I can't help you there. Um, I went to college and I got my, uh, my ratings at college. So going that, going through the, the Air National Guard, I don't, I don't know. I have no information, you know, like, so you have to do your homework and ask somebody else because I am I cannot help you on that one. Sorry, dude. But uh, thanks for the comment. I appreciate it. And I just, uh, I give your comment a, I liked your comment, so uh, there you go. All right. What else do we got? Let's look at some more comments. All right, we need a new video. Here you go. Here's your video. Hi, Mike. So uh, there you go. Uh, here's another comment. First thought was that you look like the guy from the office space. Then I look at the description and your name is Peter. I don't know if that's a comment, though, but I liked it. All right, dude. Um, here's another one. Hey, I love your videos. I was just wondering if you have any university recommendations for going in to get your degree in being a pilot, as I have to choose a university in less than a year. And how do you, and how do colleges give you jobs with, with, hang on, I gotta click it with regional airlines after you graduate? And how do colleges give you jobs with regional airlines after you graduate? Oh, and, oh, and how do colleges, okay. Um, so for, if you're gonna get your four-year degree, there's like many ways you could, you could do it. You could go to like a regular four-year college and get like a, um, a business degree, whatever degree you want, like at a regular college, and then do your flight training on the side so you go to college regularly and then get like a business degree or whatever you want to do. And then you could go do flight training like after school. Or you could go to a, uh, a university that like specializes in aviations, aviation like degree, degree fields, such as like UND, Purdue, uh, Embry-Riddle. Um, there's like a few other ones that specialize in giving you a, a degree in like aviation meteorology or uh, aviation like technology and stuff like that. So you could go to like a regular college and get like a regular degree, a business degree, an arts degree, history degree, and then do your training on the backside. So like after school hours, or you could go to a actual aviation university and get an aviation uh, bachelor's degree. Um, so yeah. And then how do, uh, how do colleges give you jobs with regionals? Um, well, a lot of the aviation, um, colleges, they have like a career day or they have a, um, like an aviation day. And then they, they bring in all the regional pilots and even some mainline pilots and there's like a career day. So it's kind of like, in high school, you have like a career day where you have all these different job opportunities, or not job opportunities, though, but like jobs that you could like learn about. Well, once you get to college, if you go to a um, an aviation college, they could have like a career day where they bring in like all the regionals, like SkyWest and a Republic and Compass, or not Compass no more, but uh, um, Air Wisconsin. They could bring all these 
regional pilots in there and they're all recruiters and they're there to talk about the their company they work for and they could recruit you and then if you are qualified with enough hours they could do a face-to-face -face interview right there during the job fair and then you're done um so yeah that's one way the other way is uh you don't really need a college degree to go to the uh, regionals so if you just have your uh your ratings and you have the hours you could just jump right in there and just apply and they'll hire you not right now do the whole the whole world's falling apart but <laughs> after all this passes and they start hiring again um, you don't need a, a college degree to go to the regionals. The only time you're going to really need a, a, a four-year degree is if you want to go to mainline. So uh, United, Delta, American, uh, FedEx, UPS, those guys. So yeah, there you go. All right, dude. I gave your, uh, your comment a heart. So uh, yeah. All right, guys. That is it for today. Um, yeah. Leave a comment down below with uh, more questions and, you know, give me some, uh, give me some ideas. What do you guys want to hear? What do you guys want me to talk about? Um, and I'll, uh, I'll cater to your guys' uh, requests. As of right now, I got tons of time. So you give me, you give me what you guys want to hear and, uh, I'll make a, uh, I'll, I'll make a video about it. So, uh, you guys got aviation questions? Let me know. You guys got any like, personal questions? Let me know. And uh, the next video, I'll, uh, I'll answer your questions. So uh, hope you guys are all doing well. I uh, totally appreciate um, all you guys' views, your comments. I uh, appreciate you guys liking it. I appreciate the positivity in the comment sections. We, we actually don't have, like, none, like, no, like, crazy or rude or mean comments, which is great, you know? Like, this is, like, all about positivity and, like, I don't want you guys like being rude anyways down there. So yeah. Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, hope you guys keep flying, keep learning. Um, yeah, best, uh, best of luck to everybody in their aviation and their like, and whatever field or whatever hobbies you guys are in, you know, like, yeah. So this, yeah, dude. All right, guys. Well, I will uh, see you guys on the next one, and uh, have a good day.